Good morning guys on this beautiful Monday, the start of a beautiful week. Um, yes, I already wish you an amazing week and an amazing day. In today's video, it's going to be a little bit about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to show you what is happening at the moment and what could happen in the near future. Um, we are also going to pay some attention to the tokenizations that is taking place in the Superstar League, like in basketball, in soccer, and all these superstars we love to look at how this tokenization now is used between these superstars and which projects are going to focus more on creating interaction be between brands, musicians, athletes and their fans. So make sure you watch today's videos, have fun watching it and enjoy all the price information and the tokenization information I again created on this beautiful beach here in Koh Phangan, Thailand. Let's take a jump into my office, Wop. onto this beautiful beach here in Chalaklom. We are living on this beach now already for five months. Yes, we are locked down in Kopangan. We are very lucky to be on lockdown in Kopangan because there was not one person with COVID on the island. So it's a very safe island, a safe haven. Just like Bitcoin is a safe haven for the financial system, Kopangan was our safe haven during this whole COVID period. Yesterday was Father's Day. As always, Father's Day, the kids bring me breakfast on bed. Uh, mostly they draw something small or they buy some small presents. It's not about the presents, it's just, be that buy. it's just that they think of their father all day long. Mostly it takes like two hours and then they forgot it's Father's Day and then they start to discuss and all that stuff again, just like any other normal family. But we had a beautiful day. Uh, the breakfast was uh, really nice. And uh, we took it easy during the day and then we in the evening we went to a birthday party from Mariam and Derek They are good friends of ours here on the island. They are leaving sadly today back to Germany and then to Cyprus uh, More and more families are leaving the island because we all face the same problem We have this problem of our visa the Thai government reacted really well by giving us visas till the 31st of July during this COVID period so we didn't need to leave Thailand for like uh, almost three months in a row or four months normally you need to do a visa extension so I'm very thankful that the Thai government did this but now we are in a situation that the 31st of July the visa is running out guys and this means that you need to leave Thailand fly to another beautiful country or just travel across the border and then re-enter Thailand and then you get a new visa extension for two months but the problem now is that Thailand is also saying oh guys if you leave Thailand at the moment and you come back into Thailand you need to do two-week quarantine if you're even able to come back into Thailand because the latest news tells us that Thailand is opening the borders around the 1st of September which would mean we need to leave the 31st of July the whole month of August we can't come back to Thailand and in September we can come back again but all the neighboring countries are not yet open Bali for example we would love to go there is going to open its borders like the beginning of October to international tourists so for us now it's a decision time are we going to stay in Thailand or are we going to take a risk of an overstay or are we leaving Thailand um, and if we are leaving Thailand where are we leaving Thailand and do we come back to Thailand to be very honest with you guys, the kids now are in need of some social contacts. There is no tourism in Thailand, there is no kids of their age here in Thailand and they want to just hang around with their own age kids now. So we will probably leave Thailand for a while to find a place where the kids have some more social uh, contacts. This can be anywhere on the world. So if you have any tip, just let me know. It could be Spain, it could be Portugal, it could be Brazil, it could be, you know, we don't even care. Just let us know if you know beautiful locations where more family are living together with kids. The Bitcoin price, guys, that's what we are going to talk shortly about. Um, the Bitcoin price is around 9,300, 400-ish. Uh, we are still moving in the same direction, although we can see that we broke the upward channel we followed for many weeks, and now we broke downwards of this channel, forming a new channel. 
And this new channel again has a top at the bottom. The top is around 9,600 as you can see on this channel that's going this way. And the bottom is around 8,600. So we are forming this channel. If you zoom out and you compare this to 2017, beautifully found by Keith Waring. Um, he explained it very nice in an article on Cointelegraph. If you compare it to 2017, we saw an M pattern followed up by a W pattern and then exploding into the bull run. And Keith stated like we are almost seeing the same pattern. We saw this M pattern after the huge crash. Now going slowly into this W pattern. The question now is where is the bottom of this W pattern? Did we already see the bottom? And are we going to explode from here? Or will we you know, pull back again to 8,600-ish to make a full bottom of the W and then go upwards and explode into this new bull run? Nobody can predict this futures, guys. It's just wait and see. The only thing you can do is just add Bitcoins every time again to your portfolio. So you add up your Bitcoins that if we go into the bull run, you know, you are just the lucky one that has been holding his Bitcoins for more than one plus years. Like you saw in the video yesterday, the amazing chart um, that was shared by CryptoQ University, the one plus year chart. This is a very cool chart. So that's that is a long term investment chart. So for me, just add up Bitcoins. Don't even focus on these small movements and dips. Zoom out into Bitcoin just add bitcoins to your portfolio every time you're it's possible for you also when we look um, at this uh, order book for example at binance we can see that now um, the sell orders and the buy orders are exactly the support and resistance we are seeing on no charts there's a huge resistance at 9450 you can see in the thick yellow line i think it's more than 30 million dollar worth of bitcoin that is being sold around 9450 so this is this is giving us a lot of selling pressure this means that if we reach the price 9450 a lot of people are selling their bitcoins and if you want to break this line of 9450 a lot of people need to buy bitcoin at this price of 9450 at the moment the order book shows us the opposite yes people are selling at 9450 but the biggest trunk of buy orders is around 8,800. So people are willing to pay 8,600 to 8,800 for one Bitcoin. And people are selling now their Bitcoins for 9,450. So this is the gap in between. Um, let's see how this plays out. There's a huge amount of Bitcoins uh, ready to be bought at these support levels of 8,800. So yes, we could form this W pattern to 8,800, then the huge trunk of Bitcoin is being bought and that's enough to break the 9,450 level and take it again to the 10,500 level and to break that one. I hope it is a little bit clear. I don't want to talk too much about Bitcoin price because many people tell me talk about other stuff as well. So um, I think I need to leave it to this. Many people request me, B Didi, Please talk about altcoins as well. So I'm going to do a little bit out the, about the altcoins. It's very clear that if you see the total market cap of the market, if you look at this chart, you can see the total market cap um, and then you can see what is happening. We saw a 22 month long, like bearish time, all these red candles at the bottom of the chart. This was all downwards time. This was all bearish times. Now this one flipped into a green candle together with a bullish MACD crossover. You can see the line is crossing upwards. This is a bullish crossover and you can see the first green candle forming and the MACD down below on the chart. This is a very positive sign for the altcoin season. You can see this for example at the Zill coin. I think this coin made like a two, no, 300% run. So this is a huge run already. This is an altcoin. And mostly guys, what, what happens then is if people are making huge profits in these altcoins and which we will see always again, they make huge profits in the altcoins, then the smart money from these altcoins goes back into Bitcoin, which pumps Bitcoin up a little bit and then goes back into altcoins, which pumps the altcoins again and then goes back into Bitcoin, which pumps Bitcoin again. And this just repeat, repeat and repeat. 
And by repeating this, you create this huge new super cycle, which ends up in a new all-time high for Bitcoin and probably also in an all-time high for many altcoins. Not all of the altcoins, because history has also shown us, guys, that many people lost a lot of money by just buying the wrong ICO, buying the wrong altcoins, buying a scam coin. So always do your research before you invest in an altcoin. You know, it's always safe to take Litecoin. It's always safe to take Ethereum. It's always safe to take Bitcoin and there are many more altcoins that are really building a project that has like a really use case. You just need to find these kind of altcoins that really build a project that will provide a, a real hardcore use case for the world. If it's just a white paper, if it's just a website, if it's just promising something which is probably impossible. Please guys, don't invest in these coins. Just invest in the coins that are really trying to change the world by creating beautiful projects. That was all the price news, guys. I wanna talk about something different today. Today, I wanna talk about tokenizations. What is tokenization? Tokenization is when you have an asset or you have a person or you have an object or you have a real estate object and you create a digital token for this asset. Why would you do this? Because then you can transfer the rights to this asset a little bit more easy, faster and transparent. One of the big examples in tokenizations now is that you see that more huge sports stars are tokenizing their contracts and tokenizing their fan base and tokenizing all kinds of stuff. I think this can be a huge step into mass adoption because sports stars are always these guys that you know, the average guy looks up to. And if these sports stars start to you know, include these cryptocurrencies and these tokens into their life, many people will follow these, star these sports stars. This is how it always goes. If, if, if Katy Perry you, uh, wears a dress, like all these girls want to wear the dress. So now the first sports star that has done this on a big scale is Spencer Dinwiddie. Not Spencer Dinwiddie, no Spencer Dinwiddie, I think it is. He's a basketball player and he tokenized one part of his huge 34.5 million US dollar um, contract. He signed this contract of 34.5 million for three years. And you know, he figured out if I use tokenization, if I tokenize a part of my contract, I can access a huge part of my funds up front because he doesn't want to wait every month again for a payment of this contract. He wants to have a huge tranche of this contract up front, so he can use it for other things. He can invest, for example, in Bitcoin, <laughs> or invest in real estate, you know? So he can use his capital that he normally should receive in two years or three years times, but now he can take one part of this capital and use it now to do an investment. So he makes even more money. So what did he do? He tokenized a part of his contract. I think it's 13.5 million US dollars. So he gave the possibility to accredited investors to, to buy into his contract. Which meant they like invested like for example 150,000 US dollars. So they were a partly owner of a part of his contract. Because all of these investors invested 150,000 US dollars, Spencer was able to collect 13.5 million US dollars directly from the fund which means he had access to 13.5 million dollar directly of this 34.5 million dollar contract he didn't need to wait many months to collect this money he could just collect it now directly that's the positive part for spencer so now he has the money and he can do everything what he wants with it he can invest it and everything on the other hand why would an investor like buy into this contract the positive part for the investor is that this investor is paid 4.95% interest. There is no way that normal investors at the moment can, you know, can make this kind of returns with bonds or shares or just keeping her, their money on the bank account because the interest is zero over there. So now they use a part of their capital to buy into Spendos contract and they get almost 5% interest on, on this investment. So they are not only supporting their superstar, they are also like making money on their superstar because they are being paid 5% interest. And it's a nice interest if you compare it to now the banks giving you 0% interest or even making you pay interest for hedging your money onto the bank accounts.
and this tokenization in sports it goes even further i met these guys of socials i think like one and a half two years ago on the blockchain cruise i had a good conversation with them and then they were a starting project and they have been growing tremendously socials is like a fan-based tokenization platform for example barcelona is going to enter the socials platform and, and then they will sell fan tokens of barcelona and all the fans that buy these fan tokens of barcelona then get a few privileges like for example they get voting rights let's say for example barcelona is going to buy a new uh, soccer star and then they just ask these questions to all the fans that hold these tokens which soccer star do you think that we should buy should we buy didi taihutu to be the new striker and replace messi i think 100 percent of the fans would say no <laughs> This is how you can include your fans to be feeling a part of your club or to be feeling a part of a soccer star. Like a soccer star could say and ask their fans, Messi could ask them, oh guys, I uh, want to go on holiday with my family this year. Um, where should we go? Should we go to the Melodies? Should we go to Berlin or should we go to London? And then the fans, you know, they do a voting and then, you know, Messi will follow up these votes and will go to the place that the fans choose him to go. So by buying these fan tokens, you get the opportunity to interact on a deeper level with uh, the star you like or the club you like. You know, you can, the club can uh, have VIP tours, the club can have VIP events, the club can have meet and greets and all this stuff if you are an owner of these fan tokens. So I think this tokenization um, that Socios is doing is going to be huge in the future because fans just want to be part of the club. They want to be part of this superstar life. And I think Socios is doing a great job there and I think it's making a beautiful connection between the club and the fan or between the superstar and the fan. That is another example of how um, the tokenization is taking place in the sports industry. There is, for example, also a project called Token Stars. Token Stars has a different angle. They give the opportunity for a star. Let's, for example, take Beyonce. She is a superstar. They give Beyonce the opportunity to create an own Beyonce token, like an ICO in 2017, for example, um, but then positive. <laughs> so Beyonce will create her own Beyonce token. And then Beyoncé will uh, use this token to get interaction with her fans. So Token Stars then makes it possible for um, Beyoncé to take her time and divide time into blocks. Then these fans can redeem their tokens into these time blocks at Beyoncé's um, time schedule. For example, Beyoncé is giving an after party so then the fans can redeem their tokens into access to this after party or even to a Skype call with Beyonce or to a meet and greet with Beyonce or they can redeem their tokens into one-on-one -on -one singing classes by Beyonce. There are millions of possibilities in this new world of tokenization so this will grow um, expansionally in the next couple of months years because more and more people just want to be interactive more and more people are living this virtual life are going digital are using their telephones like 24 hours daily so there will be a huge market for these tokenizations in the celebrity world. Can you imagine, man, that you can just um, buy social tokens or fan tokens or token star tokens, and then you can ask Messi to give you a one-on-one -on -one training on, on doing some kind of a trick, you know? Then you get this offer of Messi offering his skills for one hour to one of his fans, and then you get demand. Then you get this huge market of Messi fans they want to have a one-on-one -on -one training and that they start to bid, you know, on this one-on-one -on -one training class. What do you think that that will do, you know, with the prize? It will drive the prize up. At the end, Messi will get a lot of tokens for his one-on-one -on -one training class. So it's like trading cryptocurrency. But then these stars are tokenizing their skills and then making these tokens redeemable for their fans. So the fans need to throw in a chunk of their tokens, of their fan tokens, to be able to use this one-on-one -on -one training or this one-on-one -on -one single class or this skype session whatever it is you know and then you just value this session and the value the session has you need to pay in your tokens
We will talk about more of that, about that, I think, in the near future. That was the video for today, guys. That's really me. Yes, I am chilling all these projects out there in the crypto space, and I totally forget to chill my own online shop on the bitcoinfamily.com because yesterday evening I added like five new t-shirts. I added like really cool Bitcoin caps. I added some Bitcoin coffee mugs, and I even added now a crazy cool beach towel that says "Born to Be Free." And a baby suit i don't know how you call a baby onesie that says born to be free because these babies these newborn babies are born to be free so don't forget to check our shops the bitcoinfamily.com where you can also find this cool t-shirt hope you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel maybe even share the video with your family and friends hit the notification bell so you will notify on every new video I make and guys please remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in into life because you need to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living I wish you an amazing Monday and I will probably see you tomorrow again bye